Yo, what's up guys, this is Seahawks area back with another video, and today is part 6 of my Virginia Tech College Retro Bowl season. Last episode, we beat South Bend 37-36, to South Bend ended up being Notre Dame. This episode, we are taking on Clemson, rank 7 Clemson, we are rank 13. And as you can see, we are first in the conference, even though they have a better or they're ranked higher only because we've played more conference opponents so we're gonna hope to dethrone the four and one Clemson Tigers now I don't get how they're ranked higher than us when we are a better record still don't know how that works but let's get it going and we get an interception at the 18 that is a great way to start go tight end 10 yards to the 8 and first down, nice. All right, let's hand it off to Nezikocha. N, we'll just call him N. Or just running back, go Watt. And touchdown, let's go. Very quick touchdown. Always love to see it. And it's good. Utah made the kick. And they fumble, alright, alright, I like it, I like this so far. I don't like that, that's a pick six possibly. What a turn of events, huh? I think I've thrown up a few pick sixes, or maybe just one in this series so far, but uh, that, not, not what we wanted, not at all what we wanted. 17 year return to the 22. Alright, let's not do that again, Watt. Let's get the open man right there. Longest pass through the air. New record. Let's go. 25 yards to Brent's. That's what I like. Just a little dump off to running back for six. I like it. Alright, let's not throw an interception while targeting this guy, Lopez. 14 yards, nice. So, Patrick Queen turned down more money for a chance to win right now with the Steelers. Notice how that doesn't make sense. You turn down money because you want to win now. But you go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Obviously, he has a plan. I'm not going to say anything else about it. But if you follow me on TikTok, I uh, had my own opinion on it. Wide open, tight end, touchdown. Taking care of business right now. Nice. Alright. Giants pass rusher Kayvon Thibodeau hopes to chase down sack record during this upcoming season. If he thinks he can, then alright. Uh, it's going to be hard, though, when you have Brian Burns and Dexter Lawrence on that same defensive line. Um, by the way, the Giants' defensive line, I don't hear enough people talking about it. It's going to be awesome this year. That's probably the only good thing about the Giants, besides also watching Malik Neighbors get overthrown while Daniel Jones is their quarterback. But, who knows? Who knows? Eagles defensive tackle Jalen Carter says he's ready to be better than impressive rookie campaign. You can only get better from here, and he had a really good rookie year. I thought that was going to be a pick. That was, that was a tight throw. Packers wide receiver Christian Watson hopes to put hamstring injuries behind him with work on leg strength. Yet... Yeah, yeah, if you can stop getting hurt, you, you'd you actually be, like, maybe a top 30 receiver. I do like Christian Watson as well. I liked watching him in his rookie year when Aaron Rodgers was actually giving him the football. He dropped a wide-open touchdown week one against the Vikings, and then all of a sudden Rodgers absolutely hated his guts for, like, seven weeks. Then that game against Dallas, where he's got like three touchdowns, that's when their connection was really on point. I'm surprised I remembered all of that as well, and 21-14. to Alright, 
Uh, Ravens defensive coordinator Zach Orr says uh, Kyle Hamilton is a ultimate chess piece and he's one of the top players in the league. A hundred percent agree with all of that. He's a game-changing, very young defensive back who's going to be around for a long time. Uh, offensive lineman Billy Price, the Bengals' 2018 first-round pick, retires due to risk or caused by blood clot. Just like I said on TikTok, happy retirement, but that sounds just brutal, man. I don't know if that's me overreacting, but aren't blood clots like a really bad thing? Just like my run game? I'll oh, just dump it off. Never mind, Lopez has it. 11 seconds left. We can maybe muscle in a field goal. Or throw an interception. That, that's great. Okay, we get the ball. I'm trying to look for stuff, but there's really nothing. Fred Warner is still not fully over either of his Super Bowl losses with the Niners. Yeah, blowing it to the Chiefs in two Super Bowls. I, I wouldn't be over it either. Especially the first one. I think the first one is still worse than the one they just lost. Actually, I don't know. That's tough. That's tough to, to say. I'm only saying the first one is worse because they had a like 11 point lead with 6 minutes left in the game I think that's uh, that's not good but then you guys were playing great like you, you were shutting down the Chiefs in this Super Bowl really up until that muffed punt in the third quarter and then a one play drive to MVS for a touchdown afterwards That's that's when you lost that game and also by not knowing the OT rules, which, to be frank, I'm not sure. If a lot of teams were also in that situation, I, I wouldn't think they would know either. And yes, I'm sort of defending the Niners here. Last time I'll ever do that. Ugh. Bro, there's nothing. I've scrolled all the way down to May 23rd on, like, five like mini scrolls it's ridiculous I guess that's enough news all right fourth down again we'll just take our points come on Utah yes let's go yes and touchdown it's a really close one really really close one right now one that I don't want to lose. <laughs> so we've had them. <laughs> we've had the lead for like this whole game, practically. Well, we had the lead, then tied, and then ever since I threw that pick six, I haven't given up this lead. Come on, yes, go Brent. Nineteen yards. Ugh, that was a horrible run. What? the hell was I doing? Thanks, Lopez. Redeem yourself. Go. Go, Lopez. You're so slow. My receivers are so slow. Alright. Running back. I'm gonna have a big quarter, hopefully. Dude, you average like a half a yard a carry. Come on. I need something out of you. I hate this running back so much. But it's better than nothing, I guess. I think my quarterback is faster, though. Okay. I'm not even sure if this is field goal range. 51 yards. We're going to find out. Oh, that is range. What the hell am I on? Hey, achievement. Scored a 50-yard field goal and longest field goal. New record. Okay, they're winning by one. We got to lock in now. Bro, I'm too reliant on game-winning drives. That's like some of the only times I've been winning. 
It's because my defense sucks. Major dong. Go right in the middle. Go running back 10 yards first down. Practically 11. All right, Brents, four yards. We'll take it. We're in trouble. Come on, Lopez. Ten yards. We're doing good. We're doing good. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. We got, we got time. To me, this guy just seems like an extra receiver because I've barely ran it with him. But I think we'll start running it more. That's probably his longest run of the day. Four yards. Come on. Yes, Brent. Thank you. Just if I fumble somehow and lose this game, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be very mad. 30 seconds. I don't know why I was in the throwing motion, but I don't want to risk anything. Actually, boom. 12, 11, 10. We're just going to take our fuel goal right here. Lock in real quick. Four seconds. Is four seconds enough time? Nope. We are number six now. Yes. Alabama is six and zero. Oh, we're six and zero. Oh. Okay, thirty to twenty-eight. Let's praise team. Get the morale up. All right, upgrade for my quarterback. Can't actually upgrade anything though. We'll upgrade kick range. And the bye week, we'll give everyone study time. Upgrade for land. Let's upgrade his strength, I guess. Alright, we're well, we'll get a coach coin, I guess. I'm playing Florida State. They are four and three unranked. We are number five. After the bye week we go up one. Nice. Let's check how the boys did. Thirty one of thirty seven, three thirteen, two tutties, two interceptions. One of them was a pick six, three carries, five yards, and a touchdown. Oh, this was my first game with Maurice. I'm not, I'm just going to call him Maurice. 12 for 34, and then 7 for 54 through the air. Not bad. 8 for 100 and a touchdown for Brent. 100, or 10 for 112 for Lopez, and he crosses 1,000 yards. Fantastic. We are 6-0, and taking on Florida State next week. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And turn the notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. I will see you in the next video. Go Hawks!